UFC on Fox. Um, first off, Nate Diaz, you got put to sleep, all right? Instead of coming up with that scowl look, this and that, you got put to sleep, all right? Look, you, you have the body of a female. You come out there, you can't hurt nobody, you got put to sleep. Your brother can back up, he can back it up. You can't, because you got put to sleep. You got knocked the fuck out. But getting to the main reason I'm making this video, Gilbert Melendez. And I picked Benson from the get-go. I thought Benson would beat him, this and that. However, during this fight, I watched it. And I can honestly, I can see it being, I can't even see it being close, I'm sorry. I had it, I, if I had to give a round up, I'd say 49-46. I could only think of maybe one round that uh, Benson might have won. And, and, then, and then, you know, Wade Goldberg and, uh, what's his name, uh, Rogan were talking about it. It's like a blowout, man. It was like, oh, yeah, Benson's this. I mean, get off his fucking sack already. So I look at the scorecard. It's 48-47. Even Chael Sonnen and the other guy, I don't even know who the guy was. He was another MMA fighter. Agreed and said they thought Melendez won. Now you're going to get the nerd talk to say, oh, he had more power punches and more blows landed. Look, look, let me let me explain something to you. There's two ways you got to, there's ways you got to judge a fight, right? You gotta judge the whole body of work. But let me show you the easiest way to judge a fight, and this works all the time. You have to look at the fight, look at both fighters, and say, which guy would you have not want to be, be in that fight? And it's clearly, I wouldn't have wanted to be Mel or what's his name? The Benson. I would not want to be him. Because if you look at the fight, Melendez clearly won the fight. And I think it's a travesty right now that the, obviously the referee, or the judges had it close, 48-47, but I don't even think it was that close. I, the closest I can go, 49-46. I had a, I had it five rounds of none, but I can see maybe four to one. But come on, man. So even Chael Sonnen and the other guy agree with me. But like I said, the easiest way to judge a fight is look at the fight and say, who would you not have wanted to been that, that whole fight? And the answer is Benson. I mean, he was getting kicked upside the head. The, the physical aggressor, the aggressor was Melendez. He was forcing the whole action, the whole fight. And, uh, I mean, it was a good fight, though. There got to be a rematch, isn't that? But, uh, and the other car, oh, let me talk about the other car. I like Melendez, that fight. And I think everybody in the even audience agreed. And obviously, when you have two MMA fighters in there, Chael Sonnen and the other guy agree with me. We know the whole clear cut solution is Melendez won. But, let's get to the other fight. So, um, Josh Thomas already talked about that. He, whatever, we talked about that. Uh, Cormier, who's my boy, is a beast. It was a boring fight. I'll tell you that right now. Frank, maybe you're old, you're slow, this and that. Cormier won the fight, it was slow as hell, but you know what? He, he obviously thought of Frank Mayer as being a threat to him because he didn't go out there and perform like he did against Josh, um, what the fuck's his name? The guy used to fight the, the guy used to fight in the UFC, I forget his name now. Josh, whatever. He didn't perform to that level because when he fought him, it was a better fight than that. He obviously took Frank Murray as a threat, so he wanted to keep it safe than that. He wanted to fight big deal than that. And who was the other fight I wanted to talk about? And that's it. Oh, the other fight, the first fight, Matt Brown than that. That was a war. That was a war. He beat that kid in the submission than that. Looked like it was going either way than that. Whatever. But the main thing I want to talk about is the Melendez fight because I clearly thought Melendez won and there will be a rematch. I'll guarantee you that. And one more thing. When you have money, when you have money and you're famous, it should be easier to fight women. Just put it that way. Not going to go into details, but I mean, you got to do a better job picking women out, I guess. Whatever. That's it. That's it. But we all know Melendez is the king because when Chael Sonnen and that other guy, I don't even know who the fuck it was, agree with me and their MMA fighters, you know who the real winner is. Melendez won the fight. I know these nerds. He ain't my power punching. Look, like I said, the whole body work you got to judge. Melendez was the enforcer. And like I said, you look at that fight, look at any fight out there, and they'll tell you who won right now. Who would you not have wanted to be in that fight? It's clearly evident you would not have wanted to be in Benson. This is all Benson did the whole fight. It's how many times he done that? You know why? Because he was getting kicked upside, kicked upside the head the whole fucking night and punched upside the head. So that's why you know that me, Cheryl Sonnen, and the other guy are right. And my followers, too. And my press accounts. We're always right. Oh, that's a ripoff. I knew they were going to give it to him because he's a UFC veteran. And the other guy was a Strike Force champion. And that. So of course they're going to give it to him. The one guy probably said, yeah, whatever.